In this question, we've got an atom that has seven electrons. Let's go through and check our three rules. So the alpha principle says we've got to fill them in order from lowest energy to highest energy for the sublevels. 1s is the lowest energy, and that one is full because it can fit up to two electrons in its single orbital. 2s should be filled next, and that one's also full. And then 2p should be filled. So that part looks correct. They followed that order correctly. So alpha principle, yes, that looks good. Hund's rule is that electrons should only pair up if necessary. In the 1s energy level, we just have one orbital. And so the electrons have to pair up as they go in there. So that part looks good. 2s, again, only has one orbital. So the electrons have to pair up as they go into there. That's our first four electrons. Next, in the 2p energy level, there are three orbitals because p sublevels can have three orbitals. Each orbital can fit up to two electrons. So we've got one, two, three orbitals available. So according to Hund's rule, the electrons should only pair up if they have to. Here we've got two electrons paired and one on its own and one empty orbital. So this part isn't correct because this first pair of electrons didn't need to be a pair. This electron could have been on its own in this orbital and Hund's rule would then have been followed but it wasn't. So Hund's rule has been violated here. Lastly, the Pauli exclusion principle says that pairs must have opposite spins. We've got three pairs in this diagram. All of them show arrows in opposite directions representing opposite spins. So Pauli exclusion principle has been followed in this diagram. So overall, it's not correct because Hund's rule has been violated. In this question, we have an atom with four electrons. So let's go through and check if this student's diagram looks correct or not. Firstly, the Aufbau principle, we have to follow, fill the 1s subshell first, then the 2s subshell, and then the 2p subshell, etc. Here we can see we've got two in the 1s subshell, so that's full, two in the 2s subshell, so that's full, and that's all our electrons. So that looks correct, they filled in the right order. So Aufbau principle is being followed. Hund's rule is that electrons should only pair if necessary. So on our first sublevel, we have one orbital that can fit two electrons. So those two have to pair up there. The next sublevel, we've got 2s, which again only has one orbital that can fit up to two electrons. So those electrons also had to pair up. And that's all our electrons. So Hund's rule is being followed. Our electrons are in pairs but only because it was necessary for them to be in pairs because there was no spare orbitals on the same level where they could go. Lastly, we have the Pauli exclusion principle. This says pairs must have opposite spins. So looking at our diagram, we have a pair here. Both arrows are in the same direction. The arrows represent the spin. So here we've got two electrons shown with the same spin. And the same thing goes here. These two electrons have the same spin. That's not correct. That does not follow the Pauli exclusion principle because pairs of electrons must have opposite spins. So overall, this diagram is incorrect. The reason why is that the Pauli exclusion principle was violated.